Okay guys, today we're going to get away from the controller here and uh, take a look at some old school stuff. Uh, this is something for beginner DJs. Uh, you just got your turntables, you just got them set up, or you're going to play with somebody else's turntables if you don't own any yet. You want to learn what to do. This is the most fundamental basic skill you're going to need for all of your DJing. This is uh, before everything. This is uh, called Q and Start, and then gives you a little bonus skill when you get Q and Start down, and I'll show you that in a second. But queuing is basically this: find the beginning of a song, and uh, I highly recommend when you first do this, one, get some records that you're not too worried about. Maybe records that are already kind of scratched, but still play. You know, things you're not worried about destroying. Don't use your uh, unique Wu-Tang record for this. And uh, also, if you could find a record with two tracks to start in the middle of the disc, uh, there's a lot less force. Uh, there's a lot less force from your hands on the inside of the disc, and uh, when you push down on the disc, there's a lot less chance of making the needle jump up on the other side. So, and also a fairly nice flat record is good too. So what you want to do is just find the beginning of the song. You can hear it right there. That's the beginning of the song. Now, that's the first part. Queuing up. This is called queuing up a record. This is a number one. First thing you got to learn, and get comfortable doing this. You'll be doing this a lot. So, once you cue, then you want to work on the start. Now, notice something here. If I put the record right at the beginning of the sound and let go, hear how it kind of winds up. Listen, right there. Here. Because the record has to catch up with the torque of the platter. So, which the second part of the skill is starting. So not just get it, not just letting the record go, but letting the record go with just enough speed, so that it comes in at the right speed. It sounds like it's already playing. This takes practice. This is not the first day I've done this. Uh, I'm no great turntablist or anything, but this takes some practice. Don't worry if you don't get it right at first, or if you make the needle jump a lot. Uh, if your turntable is not set up right, and your tone arm is not balanced, and your turntables are not level, you'll find out about it here, because you won't be able to pull this off. So make sure you hit up YouTube for tutorials on how to set up your turntables. So, we have the cue. You'll be doing this in the headphones, obviously, cueing. Start. Wind it back, and do this a lot. Now, of course, the third skill that you get out of this is the baby scratch. There you go. You just learned three skills in one hand movement right there. The cue, the start, and the baby scratch. See? All based on the same thing. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I know this isn't for everybody. This is really meant for people just getting their turntables and who have no idea what to do. Uh, if you, I'm sure if you've been DJing for a while, a lot of you already know how to do all this stuff. But, you know, if you got any friends or anything that are getting started and they just got their audio technicas or what have you, you know, have them watch this so they get an idea. this over and over again and uh, you'll be doing lots of records but like I said you might want to practice on a record that's kind of beat up anyway guys that's it for a little quick video here I hope you guys enjoyed I hope this was useful to somebody uh, you know give me some feedback let me know if you're having trouble doing anything or if you're trying to learn how to do something on the turntables I'll try to help you out or I will send you uh, to someone who can plenty of people on YouTube with uh, YouTube tutorials on turntabling but I didn't really see anything like this so that's why I made this okay have a nice day guys